Ever pondered why Earth's temperature is habitable compared to the freezing cold of space? Or the scorching heat of the sun? It's all due to the greenhouse effect. This marvel of nature plays a crucial role in maintaining Earth's temperature, making it just right for life as we know it. But how does it work? Well, it's all about balance. Greenhouse gases, including carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor, act like a blanket around the Earth. They allow sunlight to enter, but trap some of the heat that aims to escape back into space. This trapped heat warms the planet, preventing it from becoming a frozen ball in the void of space. Yet this is a delicate equilibrium. Too little greenhouse effect and we'd freeze. Too much, and Earth could become a furnace. So while the greenhouse effect is essential, it's all about maintaining the right balance. Without the greenhouse effect, Earth would be a frozen wasteland. But it's a delicate balance and too much of a good thing can be harmful. Now imagine a planet where the greenhouse effect has gone into overdrive. Welcome to Venus, our neighboring planet. Venus is often called Earth's evil twin and for good reason. It's a stark example of the greenhouse effect on steroids. Venus's atmosphere is about 96% carbon dioxide. This thick blanket of gas traps heat from the sun, causing surface temperatures to skyrocket. Imagine a world so hot it could melt lead. That's Venus for you. With the average surface temperature exceeding 870 degrees Fahrenheit, it's hotter than the surface of Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. But why is Venus so hot? The answer lies in its runaway greenhouse effect. On Earth, our oceans and vegetation absorb some of the sun's energy, helping to regulate the planet's temperature. But on Venus, there are no oceans or vegetation to absorb this energy. Instead, the sun's energy is trapped by the dense carbon dioxide atmosphere, causing temperatures to rise uncontrollably. Now, let's take a trip to Mars, the red planet. Unlike Venus, Mars has a very thin atmosphere, composed mainly of carbon dioxide, but it's about 100 times less dense than Earth's. This sparse atmosphere means that Mars has a much weaker greenhouse effect. So what's the result? Well, temperatures on Mars are frigid, averaging around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. While there is evidence of liquid water in the past today, any water on the surface quickly freezes or evaporates into the thin air. The weak greenhouse effect on Mars means it's unable to retain much heat, leading to a cold and barren world. This comparison between Earth, Venus, and Mars shows us how the greenhouse effect can shape a planet's climate. Too much like on Venus and you've got a scorching hellscape. Too little, as on Mars, and you end up with a frozen desert. So, the greenhouse effect plays a significant role in determining a planet's climate, but the balance is key. Understanding the greenhouse effect doesn't just help us comprehend our own climate, but it also provides insights into the potential for life elsewhere and the prospect of terraforming other worlds. Our home planet, Earth, is a testament to the power of the greenhouse effect. This natural process, trapping heat from the sun to keep our planet warm, is vital for life as we know it. However, human activities, especially the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation, are enhancing this effect, leading to a phenomenon we know as global warming. This accelerated warming is causing drastic changes in our climate, which can lead to severe weather events, rising sea levels, and loss of biodiversity. It's a stark reminder that while the greenhouse effect is essential for life, an imbalance can have far-reaching consequences. While the situation on Earth is a cautionary tale, the greenhouse effect also holds promise for the future of space exploration and colonization. Let's take Mars for example, a planet that has long been the focus of our extraterrestrial ambitions. Mars, with its thin atmosphere and lack of a substantial greenhouse effect, is much colder than Earth. But what if we could change that? The concept of terraforming or transforming a planet's environment to make it Earth-like is a fascinating field of study. Scientists speculate that by artificially enhancing the greenhouse effect on Mars, we could potentially make it more hospitable to human life. This could involve introducing greenhouse gases into the Martian atmosphere or even creating artificial magnetic fields to protect the planet from solar radiation. However, terraforming is not without its ethical and technical challenges. It's a massive undertaking that could take centuries, if not millennia, and the consequences are unknown. Moreover, it raises questions about our responsibility as stewards of the cosmos. Should we intervene in the natural processes of other worlds? The greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon that can be both a friend and a foe. It's up to us to understand it better and use that knowledge responsibly. Let's continue to explore, learn, and innovate. 
always with an eye towards the preservation and enhancement of life, here on Earth and beyond. So, to wrap up, we've journeyed through the science of the greenhouse effect, seen its unique manifestations on Earth, Venus, and Mars, and pondered its profound implications. It's clear that this natural phenomenon is not just a terrestrial concern, but one that holds keys to understanding climate change and possibly terraforming other worlds. As we continue to explore our universe, the understanding of natural phenomena like the greenhouse effect becomes ever more crucial. Until next time, keep pondering the mysteries of our incredible universe.